Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. This is a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the all new 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini model 1708F 170B. 1708FB. What's super special about this is this is actually Traveling Robert's brand new travel trailer that he got from Winnebago. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to talk to Robert and ask him what upgrades he got to his travel trailer. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And to, again, today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini. Now, we don't sell this brand at our dealership at any of our 13 stores. But what's really exciting is this is Traveling Roberts. He's right over there. Hey, Robert. <laughs> We're going to talk to him shortly. But um, I was watching his live broadcast and he. Winnebago, he just became a brand ambassador for Winnebago, which I'm super excited for him. And uh, he said he was stopping in Central Florida for the night. And I'm like, dude, come to our dealership and I'll, I'll be the first one to review your RV. Actually, he's gonna be the first one on Sunday. Links to Robert and his channel down in the description below. But let me say hi to Andrea and then we'll check out this sweet little mini. Hey, Andrea. Hey, How are you? I'm doing great. I hope everybody is doing well and you guys are staying safe. Great, are you excited about this? I am this? super excited about this little micro mini. Well, well, what's real exciting is kind of like double excitement. I always love seeing brands that we don't sell at the dealership, again, trying to be unbiased. And then traveling Robert, I mean, Robert's like top three he RVers. Is. He oh, is, he is. you want to say anything to the camera first? Hello everybody and, and, and thank you. Thank you for, for the opportunity to show your viewers uh, my new micro mini. Yeah. Sure. So how'd you become, um, we'll, we'll chat for a second. Okay. You know, we, sure. we, we kind of, you know, just wing it. Exactly. Uh, how'd you become an uh, ambassador for Winnebago? Well, I've, I've had a Winnebago Micro Mini, the, actually the, the first edition of the Micro Mini for five and a half years. And you know, and uh, a lot of people actually that have told me that they've bought Micro Minis, different models, because they've, they've watched my videos. And I guess Winnebago got word of that, you know, uh, I know a lot of people have been talking to them and they reached out and uh, actually at the Tampa show back in January, yep. where, where I met you too. And, uh, and they reached out and said, well, well, you know, we're going to give you a micro mini for, for a year so you, so you travel around the country and, and show it and, uh, and we're going to give you some upgrades as well. You know, I had a, like, a, like a wish list and, yep. and, they, and, and they were very, very nice uh, about it. And, uh, and yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. That, in a nutshell, that's, that's the story. Great. So make sure you stay till the end of this video and we'll go over what upgrades Robert got to his uh, micro mini. But let's begin. Model is... 1708, but the actual tip to tip length is 19 feet four and a half inches. The dry weight is 3,360 pounds. Yeah. But what makes this travel trailer so great is with the two axle, it has a cargo carrying capacity of 3,660 wow. pounds, which is insane. That's more than that's more than most motorhomes that we have, and a lot of that has to do with the double axles. Hitch weight right here, you do have a hitch weight of 340 pounds. Now that's a dry hitch weight. When you put batteries on and your propane tank on and everything, that adds to the hitch weight. So what you want is weight distribution bars. And Robert here uses the uh, Husky brands. Me personally, I'm a fan of the Equalizer brand. It doesn't really matter what brand you get of weight distribution bars as long as you have them. Yes, you that's definitely kind of the need most them. important part. But actually what's real great is if you look at his truck here, notice how this is a... Um, this is a lightweight truck. It's a Chevy Colorado. And the weight distribution bars makes it so when he's towing, he's towing level. Right here, you got a power tongue jack. I absolutely love that. No, no cranking needed. Right here, you have a nice fiberglass front cap. I love that. And then right here, you have your black diamond plate rock guard. Coming down the side here, is this unlocked? Uh, nope. Nope. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good size storage. Thank you. Oh, right. good. oh my Faster. god. Wow. That is crazy big. That is a lot of uh I didn't expect exterior that. storage. And then look, here's one of Robert's upgrades of uh, lithium ion batteries. But stay till the end, we'll go over all of that. 
What I do love is you have these nice slam latch doors. Coming down the side here, really small travel trailer, all terrain tires here, that is an option. You have your outdoor speakers and you have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's and you guys, he does have a oh. quick connect for propane, which is really good. Oh, not only that, a uh, connection for a TV on the outside. Speakers on the outside. Yep, very nice. And he has a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. It's here on the, the top door on the left. Under the radio? Under the radio. I like how it's hidden. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's a good size awning. Nice power awning with LED lights. And yeah, Andre's right. It's a great size awning, especially for it being such a small travel trailer. LED lights underneath. And then uh, because this is a Winnebago, they use an Asdale sidewall composite. You guys know I'm a huge fan of that. That's a green composite that will never delaminate on you. What other brands use is Luon. And that's a wood-based material, and whenever there's a leak or moisture, it could delaminate and separate on you. Also, it looks like Robert got the Explorer package and the Comfort Tech package. Again, we'll go over that in a little bit. Coming around the back, you got a great bumper for your stinky slinky. I absolutely love that. You have a spare tire right here. Love that as well. It is prepped for a backup camera. Uh, Voyager, if you're watching, send Robert a backup camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We love backup cameras. And you have a, do you know what the roof is on this? It's a uh, vinyl. Okay, oh, uh, one piece. I think it's the uh, PVC Crossflex roof. Uh, let's go up there and take a look. Because it's wet out, do not We're walk not on it, walk on. just show it. Up here on the roof, you can see that it is a, uh, that Crossflex mesh roof. Right here you have one AC unit. Look at that, two solar panels already on top. Right there's his uh, King Air for Wi-Fi, and you do have a power fan right there. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take a fa his fat ass up on a roof of a travel trailer brand that he doesn't even sell? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Finishing up with the outside, uh, you have an exterior shower here. Right here is your waste holding tanks, and then that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Also right there, you have your manual stabilizing jacks. Big fan of them. The Micro Mini, uh, there's a lot of, well, for all these Winnebago's, there's different exterior color choices. We call them lollipop colors, but for the Micro Mini brand, there's white, silver, and gray, right? Yeah. Yep. Champagne, ooh. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy. Finishing up right here. Wow, look at this. You have a Truma instant hot tankless water heater. Here's your 30 amp power cord, potable water fill, satellite hookup or park cable hookup. And then right here, this is your uh, black, is this a black tank flush? No, that's that city water. That's city water. Black okay. tank flush is here. Ah, black tank flush was there, perfect. Free. wrapping up with the outside. You have the other side of the uh, exterior storage. Well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Skippy. <laughs> That's what I've been calling them. I'm going to take my shoes off. Yeah, don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll, I they're already I off. My shoes and the there you go. All right. Oh, I like the colors. I like the uh, aluminum steps. Colors. Great. So inside, no slide outs. I know. This is it all the time, you guys. Yep. This is what it's like. So great. Just start up there. Okay. So here we have a, a full size bed. Uh huh. Um, I don't want to open the cupboards because <laughs> we'll just open. I'll one. just open one. I do like the handles. Very cute. Uh huh. Two cabinets. Good storage. Nice have, cabinetry. Yeah, I actually like this color. Uh huh. You have a USB electrical outlet over there. It's mm -hmm. nice because you have double windows. Yep. Um, here must be the storage to, oh, no, that's actually its own little storage. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You can see we have all Robert's stuff in here nicely tucked yeah. away. 
one cabinet. Yep. Okay, we have another one there. All right, and let's see, we have the dinette. So this is a nice little mini dinette. Yep. Very cute, does drop down to make a bed, right? Yes, it does for one, yep. Mm -hmm. um, very cute. Storage underneath Storage both. Storage is underneath both of them. Yep. I'll open one. Very nice. On both sides. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Open that. What, this one? Yeah. You know what that is? Yes, that's a general RV. Hey, good job, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Did you plan that? <laughs> Very good. That is awesome. And then over here, on top, we do have the air conditioner. Is yep. it 12 and a half? Uh, it looks like it's a, a 13 and a half. 13 and a half with a heat pump. Okay. We do have a 15,000 uh, option. Too. Okay, very good. Here we have the Dometic fridge. What type of fridge is this, Robert? Is that a two way fridge? Two way, yeah. Two -way. Okay. Propane electric. Yep. It's actually it's a great size for this. Actually, it really is. I size of a travel trailer. I smaller one in here because that's mm -hmm. normally what they do, but yep. that's great. Yeah. Um, here we have the we have a microwave. Yep. And we have the stove which is a three burner cooktop with a yep. glass top very nice and you get an oven yes. that's awesome very nice very nice what what's this thing say uh, uh mountain there was a rally we attended nice oh there's a micro mini club yeah are you the president of it <laughs> you should be cabinet underneath uh-huh that's great for pots and pans Guys, look at this backsplash. I love the backsplash. Very nice. It, 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 it's a little different than the countertop, but it kind of yeah, makes it all flow together. It looks great, actually. Yeah. But, you know, I'm glad they're starting to use patterns like that more mm -hmm. instead of the same old, same old. Over here, we have the cabinet above. Yep, very nice. We have a double, this one big sink? Yeah. No, double, double. double sink. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That's awesome. Cute. You have a little window here with mini wines. And underneath we have a big cabinet here. Yep. Perfect for trash can, cleaning stuff. We have an electrical outlet. And then we have the water heater, right? Yep. Two drawers. Very nice. Very nice. I have to say, I really do like the coloring of this and I like the handles, very cute decor. Yep. The floor is cute too. Oh yeah, it is. And then, oh. let's get behind you real quick. Go ahead. Look at this TV. All right. Now this TV fold out, right? Yeah. That's great. So when you're sitting there, it's perfect, right in front of you. We then it looks like it's decks. a DVD player right there. Yes, and radio. Perfect. This is a nice big cabinet. Look, probably, that's awesome. Oh, wow. I'm amazed at the storage in Very here, nice. actually. Yeah, well, I didn't expect it. Andrea, I mean, 3,360 pounds. Yeah, that's the can, benefit of uh, a lot. So yeah. we have our panel here, the awning, check your tanks. And I like how the tank fill and the awning button is enclosed in the cabinet. One more down here. Yep. Very nice. Very, very cute. Time for the toilet test. Thermit step. Thermit step. <laughs> toilet test. Uh-oh. All right. So you got a small shower well, here. at least it's catty cornered. Yep. Porcelain toilet? Plastic. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> We like porcelain toilets, Robert. But it's okay. I mean, again, with the cargo carrying capacity, oh, yeah. somebody can easily swap this out. But it is a good position. And, and here's what I mean when I say good position. This is a small travel trailer. You know, this isn't the 45-foot Discovery, you know, where we're going to have all the space in the world. It's nice. It works. You have a shower. You know, you have a little sink right there. Oh, okay, look. Oh, look, the shower connects to the sink. Interesting. Well, then that's great. They're utilizing space everywhere. Yep. So. But I'm comfortable when it gets the job done. Got a yeah. fan up there. Medicine cabinet, skylight, and everything. So we don't get the four peas on the toilet. No, no four peas. But doable. Yes, doable for the pooable. <laughs> <laughs> great. So that's the review. It's now time that we give you three things we like about Robert's trailer and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what should we do first? I'm going to say we do three things we like about it. Okay, um, you go first. Okay, I already said, I, I do, I I love the color scheme in here. Uh-huh. Um, I don't see, you know, a lot of brands are coming out with the darker colors and everything's so shiny and polished. I love the, the handles, the yep. decor, it's very, very cute. Yep. I like the color, I like that it's bright in here when you walk in, it's mm -hmm. not dark, so everything just looks really good together. Yeah, very it, nice. It meshes well. Great, that's one. Two, I feel like there was something in here that I really like. 
But the storage in here is amazing. Yeah. No, storage. Well, yeah. that that has something to do with what I'm saying. Uh-oh. Took my shoes off. So, going on with the storage, I love the two axles. The two axles and the amount of storage, the cargo carrying capacity in this travel trailer is absolutely unbelievable. You know, I you know, just the amount that you can load up in here is crazy. You know, with these small travel trailers, a lot of times you're not spending a ton of time in the travel trailer. You're spending a lot of time outside of the travel trailer. So you want to have great amount of storage to carry all your stuff with you. So that's two. And then three, I just love the quality of it. Yes. You can tell this is a well-built travel trailer. I really wish we sold these at our dealership. I love the Asdale sidewall composite. And whenever we get one of these here used, it goes. I mean, we sell them extremely fast. Now... It's time for the three things we don't like about this trailer. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you ready for this, Robert? Sure. Okay, I don't have one yet. Well, I have one. I don't like the plastic toilet. Well, That's we one. knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a smaller bathroom, but again, smaller travel trailer. There's kind of nothing you can do about it. Do you have one? I do. Um, Go ahead. What I, I didn't care for how small the shower is, but again, this is a smaller travel trailer. Yep. So. You know, one, two people, but that's me and then the step up. Yep. I 100% understand. You know what we did forget? Notice how there's no heat ducts in the floor. Yes. They're coming on the side. Thank goodness. Yep. And three, this, what could be a third? I don't know. You know, this is pretty. pretty I mean, it's well designed. For, you know, I can't really find a third. That... Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just going to say the bed. You know, when you're sleeping two people in, the person on the inside is going to have to climb over the outside. But that's the territory that you're in when yes. you're trying to stay this small. You won't see a lot of north and south in something this big. Exactly. Feet, so. You got to go probably to 21 or right. 22 feet, which is then a longer travel trailer. And, you know. But for one person, two people, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect size. Especially, and we're only seven feet wide too, so it's, it's a narrow trailer. Yeah, it and sure now, is. Yeah, and what you see is what you get. There's no slides. That's great. And it still feels roomy in here. Yeah. Plenty of room to walk around, plenty of room to cook. Great. Now it's time to talk again with Robert. Robert, what upgrades did you get to this travel trailer? Well, I had a short list of upgrades that I had already done to my to my older uh, micro mini as well. And one of them was the first one, and uh, drew my aqua go water here. Okay, so is that not a, an option from the back? No, that's not an option. It does come with the, I think it's a six gallon. Six gallon DSI, okay. But this, uh, this through my aqua is, is very easily is swappable with, with uh, standard water. Yep. So that, you know, uh, since I had it on mine, I said, you know, this is something, you know, and, uh, and my wife and I, we, we love the long showers and the, and the steady temperature. Yes. More than anything. Yes. Something else, the, the Max Air, I, I told them a fantastic fan, they got a Max Air, it's the same thing. Okay. I wanted to have a vent on the roof, for, you know, because for, for air circulation, you know, it's... Yeah, it's, for sure, especially it, when you boomed out. It doesn't, it doesn't come with that standard. Uh, what else did they do? Well, I, I, I asked them, I, I want a battery upgrade, solar, and an inverter. Okay. The, on that one, they went above and beyond what I asked you. I was thinking AGM, maybe two batteries. They, they gave me the, the lithium. Nice. And the, the, that, that Santrex uh, inverter has a, has a transfer switch. So I have a power everywhere inside the tray. Wow. It, you can run, you're telling me you can run everything? Except the air conditioner. Still. And, and it's smart enough that it'll, it'll disconnect, disconnect the air conditioner. Very cool. While you are on, on, but I can use the microwave and everything. So it's, That's it's good. Works, uh, That's really awesome, good. especially if you do some early spring camping or fall camping up north. Yeah. You don't even need hookup. Exactly, and that, that you know I'm going to Alaska very soon, so it's going to be a mostly boondocking trip. Yep. So I'm really looking forward to that. And there was some, oh, they had the the internet connectivity package. Okay. That's also optional by by Kane, and they gave me uh, the, the the cellular booster. Uh huh. Which uh, and uh, and uh, and the Wi-Fi extender. Yep. Both of us. Yeah, we were watching your live broadcast the other day, and were you just using your phone? I was using spot? my phone hotspot with the with the uh, cellular booster. I was because nice. The, the, the signal good wasn't quality. wasn't all that great up, up there, but uh, yeah, yeah but, but, but it still worked well. Yeah, it worked well. Cool. And, and then uh, what else? As far as upgrades, I think that was it. Uh, yeah, that was it. Did you um, was your power manual the tongue? I mean, or was it was it? 
power in, in, option? In, in, my, in my original one, I upgraded to the electric, but I think all of this. They, oh, they good. Electric. That's like good. Okay. Good. Standard electric. Good. And then what comes with the Explorer package? Explorer package is basically the the, the all-terrain tires, and it has a lift kit. Oh, and, okay. and it's adjustable, so you can lower it if you if you would want to. I think it's four inches. You could lower it. Wow. And, uh, and um, there's a couple more things in the Explorer package that I, I can't remember off the top of my head. And another comfort uh, tech package, it's, it, it includes pre-wiring, pre pre it comes pre-wired for solar, pre-wired for Wi-Fi, for the rear yep. camera. That, that's the, the, the comfort tech. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Hopefully, you know, we accommodated you well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I could use full hookups uh, last night. <laughs> Not full hookups, electric, you know. Yeah. I'm back in Florida, so it's hot. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. If you have any questions, make sure... Well, I can't answer questions about this because we don't sell them. But well, if you have any questions, I have links to Winnebago uh, down in the description below. I have links to Robert's channel down in the description below. Thanks so much for coming out. Um, it was really kind of like a last-minute thing. And... It's really exciting because I love doing RV reviews and, you know, no, literally, there's like KYD and then, I mean, you're in my top three. You're in my Mount Rushmore of famous YouTube. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Uh, super excited about that. And uh, Andre, do you want to say anything? Yes. Guys, thank you for watching and let us know the three things that you like about this trailer and the three things that you don't like. Um, we're very interested to see and maybe Winnebago will actually take a look at the comments. Yeah, definitely. Well, we are a Winnebago dealer, just not Winnebago totals. Right. They kind of break it up into different ones. So, uh, Robert, you want to say anything to the camera before we go? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having me and uh, for, for the hospitality. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the road. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.